In this video, we're going to integrate using integration by parts. So if you try like a regular u substitution here, like if you let u equal t or u equal the natural log of t plus 5, it doesn't seem to work really well. Um, so let's try integration by parts. So we have to pick u so that it's easy to differentiate. So the obvious choice for that is this, right? So we don't want to integrate the natural log. So u is equal to the natural log of t plus 5. And then so dv is simply what's left over. So this is t dt. And then computing du, we end up with 1 over t plus 5 times the derivative of t plus 5, which is simply 1, so I won't write it, and then dt. And when we integrate dv, we end up with v equals t squared over 2. So now we'll go ahead and use the integration by parts formula. So our integral, so the integral of t natural log t plus 5 dt, it's equal to uv, so t squared over 2, times the natural log of t plus 5, minus the integral of v du. So I'm going to pull the 1 half out, and so we end up with t squared over t plus 5 dt. So now we have to deal with this new integral here. We have to deal with this. So in order to do this one, um, if you notice the degree in the numerator is higher, it's 2, and here it's 1. So we can use either long division or synthetic. Let's use synthetic just to refresh. So we can think of this as t squared plus 0t plus 0 over t plus 5. And so to use synthetic division, you just change the sign here and you put a funny bracket, and then you write the coefficients of the numerator. So 1, 0, 0, and then you draw a line. There's a 1 here, so you just write it down. And then you do 1 times negative 5, so that's negative 5. And then you add, so you get negative 5. And then negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. And then you add, and so you get 25. So that's your remainder. And so we can go back to the original problem now and rewrite everything. This is t squared over 2 the natural log of t plus 5 minus, and then we have the 1 half, and I'm going to use a bracket, and so this here can be written as t minus 5, I'm getting that from here, right, 1 times t minus 5, okay, so we have that integral, so the integral of t minus 5 dt, and then plus the remainder so the remainder was 25 over the divisor, so t plus 5. And then we have the dt. Okay, let me go over that again. So we rewrote t squared over t plus 5 as t minus 5 plus 25 over t plus 5. So that's what the division gave us, right? So uh, whenever there's a 2 here, you always start at 1. So we have t to the first power and then just minus 5. And then it's plus this number here over the divisor. Okay, what a mess. So let's keep going. So this is going to be equal to t squared over 2, the natural log of t plus 5, minus 1 half, and I'll go ahead and integrate all of this stuff. Let's see, here we use the power rule. There's a 1, so we're going to get t squared over 2, and then minus 5t, and then plus 25. Here, when you integrate this, you call this u, and so du is dt, and you're going to get 25 natural log of t plus 5. Right, because du over u is going to integrate to the natural log of the absolute value of u. I'm going to close the bracket and put the plus C at the end. And I, let's go ahead and distribute that negative 1 half to finish. So this is equal to t squared over 2, the natural log of t plus 5. And then minus, let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, so t squared over 4. That's a 2. And then plus, right, we get a plus here, 5 halves t. And then again, we get a minus this time, so minus 25 over 2. 
natural log absolute value t plus 5 plus c. Wow, that was a mess. So that was a lot harder and messier than I expected, but um, hopefully it made some sense.